When you only have 24 hours in the day to make sure you complete everything that you need to get done, how do you still make sure you handle all of your responsibilities but still make time for yourself, friends, and family? This is where balance comes in. But what does balance mean and what does a balanced life even look like? Balance to me is the act of making time for the things you have to do as well as time for the things you want to do as well. But, but to be completely honest, and before we get into the bulk of this video, there's something that I want to talk about and that is that in everyone's life you are going to go through periods of life of imbalance. Especially let's say you're an entrepreneur for example, if you're working on a project that is going to have the potential to change your life and the lives of others, you're going to be working 16 hour days sometimes and those are going to be, those are not very balanced days. You're not going to be talking to your friends and family during those times or maybe you're a parent with a newborn you're not making your schedule. You're working off the schedule of that baby right there, right? And that's just something to give you perspective that in everyone's lives, it's okay to have certain pieces of imbalance. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the other 80, 85% of your life where, hey, you can actually implement things into your life to have balance. So why is balance important? And the biggest reason, and at number one, we have it improves your mental health. Your mental health should be your number one priority at all times, especially when it comes to just yourself, loving yourself, your relationships and how others treat you and just work and life in general, right? And so how do you know if your work-life balance is necessarily unhealthy? And one of the best things that I could recommend is pause and ask yourself, what's actually stressing me out? What am I prioritizing right now? And actually just take a moment to reflect on what's going on in your life. Because I, oftentimes I feel like as people and humans, is when we get so busy and caught up within the swing of things and just the day-to-day -day of life, we never actually take a moment to actually reflect and see what we're actually prioritizing and what we're actually focusing on right now. But just pausing and taking a moment to think about the way you're living and the way you're working, whether if it's working for you or not, and having that moment in that discussion with, your, with yourself of, hey, is this the direction I wanna keep taking things or do I wanna take things a new route? And number two of why balance is important is because it prevents burnout. And if you don't know what burnout is, to put it simply, burnout is where you don't have the strength nor desire to continue working on what you're working on. And if you have never burned out on a project or in your career field, I hope you never do because it truly is a terrible feeling. You genuinely feel detached, unimaginative, uncreative. You just, you have no desire to work at all. And that is one of the biggest problems and one of the things that stem from a lack of balance. The third and final point of why balance is important is because it improves your motivation when you're at work. When you're in a better mental state and you are more efficient when you're at the workplace, you get more time on your hands to spend doing things, spend time on doing things that you want to do and get, it gives you more freedom to work on the things that you want to work on. And when you're able to go home and just work on the things and do the things that you want to do, whether that be spending time with your kids, playing video games, or working on a passion project, that's what balance allows you to do is just segment your life successfully in the way that you want it to be. All right, all right, enough with why balance is important. How do I actually become balanced? So the number one thing that's been most helpful for me is simply put, just scheduling out my day. So this is gonna be different for everybody because I don't know, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you are a construction worker. Everyone that's watching this video has a different career path. For me personally, I'm an entrepreneur, so I have a little bit more freedom in how I make my schedule, right? So here's how I have made mine. And this is really, I follow a time blocking method and when I was growing up, I would always stay up very late and then also get up very late. Or if I get up early, I would just be exhausted and not really focused because I got like two, two to three hours of sleep, right? But now what I've come to notice is that in the morning, I am actually the most productive and the most focused, really just because there's the least amount of distractions in the morning for me. So that's where I get in all my deep work, all the tasks that needs the most attention and focus for me. But then, so I'll time block my workday very specifically of like, hey, I have this task for 45 minutes, this task for an hour, this task for 30, 30 minutes. And that has been really helpful for me because I've noticed that if you give yourself one hour to do a task, you'll get it done in one hour. 
But if you give yourself two hours to do a task that might take 30 minutes, that means you're gonna work for 30 minutes and then bullshit for the other, you know, hour 30, right? So time blocking during the workday has been very effective for me. But when it comes after that, this is where you can be as flexible or strict as you like. I am typically pretty loose on this, but like, hey, if you wanna put like, get a car, car wash for an hour, lunch for an hour, and then spend time with the kids, make sure you call mom. If you wanna put all that in your schedule, you can, but I typically just make sure I schedule out my work day. And then after that, I'm pretty flexible and I just let the day take me. Number two, we have having a clean desk and a good work environment. Having everything you need around you so that we don't have to get up frequently and lose focus is incredibly important because what I've noticed is if I can just grab something that I need and it's on my desk and I have it readily available to me, then I can just stay in the zone way longer and just get my work done, done get my work done way more efficiently. So having a clean desk and a good work environment is really important to just making sure that, hey, I'm staying efficient and I can just get my tasks done as soon as possible. And another thing that I wanna talk about is, and this is number three, is making sure that you have hobbies outside of work or just passions outside of work that allow you to have fun and just feel refreshed. That way when you go back to work, you don't, it's not like you didn't do anything. You know, like actually doing stuff outside of work rather than just like, I mean, maybe if you wanna just go on social media all night, that's if that's your thing, like go for it, I guess. But for me, it's like, hey, if I can go to the gym, do something physically active, if I can go to dinner with my friends, or if I can go bowling or just do some sort of activity that allows me to just escape and just do something that I genuinely love and enjoy to do, then when I go back to work that next morning, it's refreshing because it's almost like, hey, I, I'm, I can just work on this and then I have something else that, hey, I can look forward to it. Or I have that aspect of my life that I also enjoy, right? So making sure you have a, a balance of like, hey, this is my work time. And this is my time to where I can just do whatever I wanna do, whether that's read in a hammock or go play video games for five hours. It doesn't matter. Just making sure that you have activities outside of work that you genuinely enjoy to do. The final point, is spending time with family and really close friends. And if you can make time for this every single week, and maybe if you don't live close to them, making some time to just call them out of the day and just connect with them. Because these are the people that when you go through your darkest moments, they're, they're gonna be the ones that support you. And when you have your wins, they're also gonna be those people first in line to support you, right? So making sure you spend people who give you actual, just genuine, nice intentions and love and energy is so important and it's honestly just so refreshing to hang out with those people because it's just pure love right but that's gonna be it for me that's actually wrapping up this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did please leave us a like and subscribe we really appreciate it lots of awesome videos coming to this channel soon i'll catch you guys in the next one